I'm Stephen Ben Danoon with Israeli News Live. Violence in the, what is termed now as a silent intifada in Jerusalem is spiraling out of control. In fact, today it was reported on Arut Shiva's website that there was a news interview with one of the police, border patrol policemen there that blames the interior uh, or the, excuse me, the security minister of Israel for that violence there, Yitzhak uh, Aronovich. He blames him for pushing the, the border patrol policemen to stand like dolls and do nothing about the violence that is occurring. As we know in French Hill, in fact, French Hill is a very well-known spot for myself because that's where I was nearly killed in 2004 by a suicide bomber there. But there has been a lot of rapid gunfire up near French Hill in the French Hill neighborhood there. It's also where the University of Jerusalem is, is just adjacent to this neighborhood. A lot of Jewish people live in this neighborhood. And recently, a kindergartner came under attack by a hail of rocks by rioters. Palestinian rioters uh, attacking and injured a bus driver there. Also today in Jerusalem, near the Mount of Olives there, the little road that goes right in there around the old city, two buses came under uh, riot attacks by rioters there, lightly injuring one bus driver in the leg, and the other bus driver escaped injury, but the bus was uh, damaged uh, very much as well during that attack. Also, the a uh, little girl that was killed, we reported to you yesterday about the three-month-old uh, child that was killed by the Hamas terrorist uh, driver who drove into the crowd up near, which is also near French Hill as well, right there at Ammunition Hill, only just meters away from French Hill. This Hamas terrorist, a Palestinian there living in Jerusalem, drove his car into people that were getting off the rail transit wounding nine and killing a three-month-old baby girl. Her name was uh, Chaya Bron, the young little girl there. There's a picture there you see here uh, that was posted on Israel's national news, taken right there at the Wailing Wall, where they had just come from the Kotel, praying at the Wailing Wall earlier that day, going to lose their daughter that evening. It has really become absurd. Why is it that the securities minister of Israel is doing nothing to allow the police to handle the air of violence. Who's pulling his strings? Who's causing uh, this lay down, so to speak? It reminds me of Nazi Germany, where the police were not under, the, the, the Jewish police were under Hitler's command. Well, we'll be looking deeper into this story to try to unravel exactly why the police are not being allowed to do their job and to defend the public, the Jewish people in these neighborhoods here that are bordering East Jerusalem. No doubt they know, as it's been revealed to our own sources, Israel is about to be pushed out of parts of Jerusalem. Even according to Micah the prophet, he said we would return to our homeland, but we would also be pushed out of Jerusalem and dwell in the fields. I'm Stephen Ben-Danun with Israeli News Live. Good evening.